So we've got a worked example about kinetic energy. We're given the mass of the car. We're given the uh, force being applied, the unbalanced force, and the displacement during the acceleration. And we're asked what is the gain in kinetic energy and what is its final velocity. Now, as soon as you see that gain in kinetic energy, probably your first thought will be, well, kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So we use that to work it out. But if you look at the data you've got, you've got the force and the distance. And this stresses the idea that in any particular situation, the work done is the change in energy, or the gain, in this case, in kinetic energy. Uh, so you've always got to keep that in mind in terms of what information you're given in the question and what you're being asked. It won't always be use ek as a half mv squared for kinetic energy. So using the work done as force times distance formula, multiply those two together and we get the um, work done is 100,000 joules. So the gain in kinetic energy is also 100,000 joules. And then once we know that, we can use that to calculate the final velocity. So if we now use our formula ek equals a half mv squared, then we can substitute our values in there and rearrange. Right, now remember we're working out v squared first of all, and then we're taking the square root to get the answer for v.